In this video, we are going to learn how to start a faceless YouTube channel. And this is a full course for beginners. So in case this is your first time of starting a YouTube channel and you want to start with a faceless YouTube channel, then you are watching the right video, right? So this is going to be a full course and I want you to watch right to the end so that you can understand how you can get started with your YouTube channel. Now, when we talk about a faceless YouTube channel, what we are actually talking about is the kind of channel that doesn't require you to show your face on camera right so it's either you are talking at the background or you are using an ai to actually do the talking or you can also pay other persons on freelance at like fiverr and upwork to help you do the work right so basically you are not going to be showing your face on a faceless youtube channel right so a lot of persons are using this to make money online and you can also do the same thing and right here on youtube faceless youtube channel are also monetizable in as much as you stay within the guidelines and terms and conditions of youtube right so that's basically what a faceless channel is all about the first thing you need to do is to choose a niche that you want to create videos about this is very very important right this will determine whether your channel is going to be relevant to your audience or not now a niche is that topic that you want to be talking about on your channel so if for example you want to talk about finance on your channel or you want to talk about productivity or you want to talk about make money online like this one that is a particular niche a topic that you want to talk about so i'm going to walk you through the process of choosing a niche in this session right so the first thing you want to do before you choose any niche is is to identify your interest and passion and the reason i added this is because i've seen a lot of times people just go into a niche because of the money they are going to be making from that particular niche which is actually good so you can decide to choose a niche based on the amount you are going to be making on that niche because different niches have their different cpm kind of the money that you can make from that niche right so like finance niche like tech niche like those niches that advertisers are willing to pay money for they tend to make more money than niches that advertisers are not ready to pay much money for if you're interested about making more money from your youtube channel you may want to consider those kind of niches that will pay you more another way you can choose a niche is to choose based on your passion right so you can choose based on what you are also passionate about if what you want to be creating is something related to your passion you want to think about the things you love to do right the things that you are really really passionate about the reason i added passion and interest is because if you are not interested in a particular niche and you don't have passion for that niche in the long run you will not be able to have the zeal and the consistency because you are not interested in it in the first place and you are not really passionate about it the next thing is to research popular niches based on your interest or your passion so if you are interested like i said about making more money from a particular need then you want to in invest your time researching popular niches on your interest or on your passion right so you are going to look for popular niches on youtube by searching for trending topics and popular channels right that will help you to find the popular niches around your interest and also your passion so after choosing the niche the next thing is to consider your target audience so your target audience are the people who are interested in what you want to talk about so if your interest again is finance and tech or anything that you are interested in the people who want to watch those kind of content are your target audience you have to think about who you want to reach with your content and what they are interested in so this can help you choose a niche that will appeal better to your audience if you consider your audience before choosing a particular niche you're actually going to be making a huge huge progress the next one is to analyze your competitions you are going to be looking at other channels in your potential niche and see what they are doing well and where there may be gaps in the market and this can help you create unique and valuable content that will set you apart whichever need that you are going to choose right now i can guarantee you that a lot of persons are already creating videos around that niche or topic what you want to do is to check out those other competitors and see what they are doing well and emulate them and also check out the gaps in the market and how you can provide more value so that your audience are going to find your content 
more interesting so checking out for your competition doesn't mean you're actually going to be copying them in everything they are doing you can check out what they are doing very well and learn from it and then add your own style to it to make it unique and then serve it back to your audience if you have chosen a niche the next thing you are going to do is to create a youtube channel so we are going to be creating a youtube channel right now so i'm going to walk you through the process of creating a youtube channel so once you come over to your browser and you type youtube.com this is going to appear for you and you are going to come over to the right top right hand corner and then click on sign in so the first thing you would need to do is to have a google account so you will need to create a google account i already have a google account but i signed out so that i can show you how to do it right so what you want to do is to use another account right so once you click on use another account you are going to see create a new gmail account right here this is if you don't have a gmail the process is pretty simple and straightforward let me show you how it looks like right so you want to choose to manage as a business and once you click on it it's going to load up the next page so once you fill in your first name your last name your email address your password and then you confirm the password you are going to click on next and you'll be able to create a new gmail account right you will need a gmail account to be able to use your youtube right so once you've created that account you are going to sign into youtube using your google account then once you click on your google account right here is going to open up and ask you to impute your password so i'm just going to put in my password right now so once you've imputed your password they are just going to click on next and then it will take you to the next page where you can sign in to youtube right so this is basically how you can sign up on youtube and create a youtube account right so i'm also going to show you how to create multiple accounts like this ones you are seeing right here if you already have a youtube account and you want to create another youtube channel maybe for your faceless channel so what you want to do is to come over to this three dotted icon and then you click on it so once you click on it you are going to scroll down to settings and then you click on the setting it will open up this page for you where you can create a brand new channel so what you want to do is to click on add or manage your channel and once you click on add or manage your channel it's going to open it's going to open the next page where you can see um create a channel so these are some of the channels i have on this google account so what you want to do is to click on create a channel once you've clicked on the create a channel it's going to open up this page for you where you can now add the name of your new youtube channel so for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to name this channel motivation of so yours can be any name even if there are other channels using that same name youtube will still allow you to use the name so once you have written the name of the channel you want to click on i understand and then you click on create so once you click on create it's going to open up and create a brand new channel for you so this is the channel right here motivation orb right so we have created the channel the next thing we are going to be doing is to find content and then because we are going to be creating videos on that channel so you what you want to do is to ensure that you have enough content ideas so that you can consistently upload on that channel there are several ways you can get content ideas the first one is brainstorm so you are going to take some time to brainstorm content ideas that are related to your niche so you are you are going to think about who your audience are and what they will be interested in and you're also going to find out what they are passionate about and the topics in your channel that they may also want to watch right so there are a lot of things right here the first thing you want to do is to sit down and find out who your audience are and then you are going to find out what they are interested in and after which you are also going to find out what they are passionate about then you also find out the kind of topics that they want to watch if you are able to do all of these things right here you are going to be able to create content that will appeal more to your audience so the next thing you want to do is to use keyword research tools such keyword research tools are google keyword planner or tubebody you can use them to identify popular search terms and also topics in your niche these tools are really really helpful so this can help you create content that is optimized for search and has a higher chance of being 
discovered by new viewers right so what that means actually is that when using this tool they are going to give you some content ideas they are going to tell you the search volume of a particular keyword they are even going to tell you the competition of the keyword right so the next one is to follow trends so stay up to date with current events trends and even viral content related to your niche in order for you to do this you have to constantly check other youtube channels that are creating something that is similar to yours right so youtube channel that are already doing what you are doing that are big you want to check out what they are doing at the moment so this can help you to create timely and relevant content that appeals to your audience the last way you can also find content ideas is to check out your competitors so you want to look at what other channels in your niche are creating and identify the gaps or areas that they aren't covering this is very important because if you are able to talk about what they are not covering in your particular niche and you are able to do that and incorporate it into your videos your audience are going to find it more interesting they are also going to want to come back and watch your videos so you don't just want to copy your competitors you have to check out for the gaps and then look for ways to fill in those gaps so this can help you to create unique content that stands out from the competition the next step is to start creating your videos once you are able to list out some content ideas years and you are able to check out what your other competitors are doing then you may want to start creating your videos right so the first thing you have to do is to plan your content so you have to decide on the topic of your video and then plan out the script the visuals and other elements you want to include in the video right this is very important if you don't plan out your content your content is going to be disorganized and even if you edit it properly it's still going to come out disorganized because it is not properly planned just like you can see me going from one slide to another this actually took me time to write and even plan out right even if you are not going to show your face on camera even if you are not going to be using your voice you still have to plan it out from the scripting even to the publishing and optimization of the video so the next thing if you are using b-rolls the next thing you want to do is to record your footage so you can record your footage using a camera or screen recording software just like what i'm using right now and if you want to create a faceless video you can focus on recording your voice or other elements such as the animation the text and the images right this is very important you also have to look for images that stock images and stock videos that can help you send the message to your audience the next thing you want to do is to edit your video so you can use editing software such as adobe premiere pro or imovie to edit your footages and if you don't have access to any of these two and you are using windows you can use shortcut right shortcut is the one i've been using for a very long time and it has really helped me a lot right so you can use it to edit your video as well so you can also add elements such as the background music and effect and text overlays and even transitions to enhance your videos right this is very important while editing and the editing of the video is actually going to go a long way to determine whether your audience are going to stay all through the video or they are going to click off right this is very very critical the next one is to choose stock footages or animation so you have to make sure that you go through all of the stock footages and, and that's the video or the the images and make sure that everything is pointing at the message that you are passing across to your audience so websites such as shutterstock or adobe stock these two websites are going to help you to find stock images and stock videos that you can use in. so you can also find stock images and videos on another site called pixabay right that's what i'm loading up right now pixabay is another website that allows you to find free images and royalty free stock videos right the next step is to record a voiceover right you can actually use ai to do this but if you don't want to use ai you want to record your voice you are going to use your microphone to just record your voice you can use audacity to record your voice and if you want to pay other persons to do that you can use fiverr to find people that can help you to do the voice recording for your video so the next step is that i'm going to take you right through the process of creating a faceless video with p3.ai p3.ai is a video software that allows you to create professional videos just by adding tests so you can just copy the script and convert that script to a video or convert a blog post
post or a video so let's assume you have written down the content ideas and you have written down the script of your video the next thing you want to do is to use ai tool if you don't want to show your face or you don't want to pay other persons to do it for you you can use ai tool like Petri to get that done so that's what i'm going to be walking you through right now so once you're logged in this is what you are going to see this is the main interface of p3.ai you can see hello then my name gifted if you want to create our videos with script using p3 you can just use this one and proceed if you want to create a blog post that is, you want to turn a blog post or blog article to videos you can use this if you want to edit your videos you can also use p3 as an editor for your video meaning if you have your video and you want to edit it you can use p3 as an editing tool and you can also convert all your photos and videos to a main video right so that is how this four part work and these are the four four things you can do with p3 right now we are going to be converting our test or script to videos so what we want to do is to click on proceed don't forget i can also use these other ones and the link right here at the bottom is actually a tutorial that will walk you through how to use all of them right let's use um scripts to create videos using p3 right now we have clicked on it they are saying we should enter the um, video name so you can just click on this place and paste your script right here i'm going to go over to my script and copy it right so you want to also ensure that you break down your script to smaller pieces right that means you make it very short because it's going to be scene by scene so let's copy it and then come over to tree and paste it right here as you can see this is the script for my video so i can still make this one a bit shorter okay so i can make okay let me just leave this one like this so what i want to do next is to add the title of the video the title of the video is overcoming laziness so this is the title of the video overcoming laziness in case you don't know how to create script using ai i'm going to leave a link to that video in the description so i created the script with ai so you can also use ai to create your script now that we have pasted the script what we want to do is to come over to this place and click on proceed once you click on that proceed button it's going to bring you down to this place now what they're asking us to do is to select a template for our video so you can decide to go with anyone and each of the template has caption right so let me just choose this first one then once you click on it they are going to ask you to choose your aspect ratio now if you are creating videos for youtube you may want to go with the 16 by 9 if you are creating videos for social media you may want to go with this other tool so for tiktok instagram reels and all of all those other social media you can use any of the two so we are using creating for youtube we are going to click on continue and then Petri will start to generate the video for us they are saying we should wait and hold on for a while that they are going to start generating the video if you are getting value from this video please smash that like button i will sincerely appreciate that from you and if you want to see more videos around make money online and tutorials like this you can also click on you can also click on the red subscribe button and subscribe to this channel now i've also created another video in case you are interested in using p3 to make money for yourself i've created the best five ways to make money online with p3 i'm going to leave a link to that video in the description as well so let's wait for the video to generate so it's going to take a while for the storyboard to be created and once it is created we can now start editing our video using p3 is very simple so you do not need any skill to use p3 it is it's very very simple like i said you do not need any skill to start editing with um, p3 it is a drag and drop future right so we are going to check out and preview each of the scene so that the images and the videos that will display at the background would um, fit the test right so this one is saying are you feeling lazy and unmotivated so i would not want to use this video so what you want to do is to come over to visuals click on it so once you click on visuals we, are, we, are, we can now select another video right so i'm going to choose this video now once you just click on it it will automatically replace the one before so we are going to go to the next one so this is how you are going to edit it you are going to check each one and then replace the videos or the scene that you don't want if you get to the end right here you see there's no other arrow to move to the other scenes right because it is more than four scenes you come over to this place and click on it 
and you'll be able to see the other scenes like number five the fifth sixth seventh and eighth scene so that you can start editing them you have to make sure that the video playing in the background is actually related to um, what the test is talking about right so you have to do that and make sure that each of the video is closely related to what the test is talking about so, all right so once you preview all the um, videos and the test together so the next thing we are going to do is to add our voice right so there are two options you can either use the ai tool to read the test in your video or you can do it by yourself that means you can record your voice and upload it on this particular software then it's going to sync your voice with the video meaning that the ai is going to actually make sure that each scene is aligned with what you're saying right so if you want to upload your voice you come over to audio and click on upload then once you click on upload you are going to um, see the drag and drop features what that means is that you are just going to drag the test from your computer and just drop it right here you'll be able to upload it easily then peter is going to sync it together with the video so in this case we are not going to use audio in case you are shy you don't want to read it out yourself you can use the ai tool that p3 has then they have a lot and lot of voices from different languages from us they have the english us english they have uk english they have indian english so you can choose any voice that you want you all you want to do is to preview them by clicking on the play button right so i'm just going to choose any random one let me just choose this one so once you have selected any one that you want to use you just click on it and it will be applied immediately so the last part is to add a background music right so depending on what you want to do most times i prefer calm music depending on what i am doing in this case it is going to be a motivational video so i'm going to just search for calm and another way you can do it is to use the um, mood right the mood and purpose for the video so i'm going to use inspiring and uplifting right because it's an um it's a motivational video so i'm just going to use that mood so that they can suggest musics that that will actually go with my video this is very important because you don't want to use loud uh, music for a video like motivational video right so i'm just going to pick the first one and once i pick the first one anyone you pick but please make sure that you preview it right so i'm going to use this first one then i'll click on apply so what you want to do is to preview what you have made but in this case i'm just going to skip the preview part but also make sure you preview it then once you have previewed it you come over to the generate and click on the video then what p3 is going to do is that it's going to start creating the scenes and also creating the video for you meaning it's going to start the generation process you can see video generation in progress so it's going to generate the video and also the scenes for you right so it's going to take a while for it to complete the generation right so it's going to take some time you just have to be patient and wait until it is done Okay, once the video is generated just like you can see right now the next thing you would need to do is to download directly to your pc or you can copy the link of the video and share it with friends and um, upload it on your youtube then you can also um, export the test in in the video so what you want to do first of all is to ensure that the video is downloaded so you just click on download to pc and you start downloading the video to your pc and and then you see it downloading right here so this is how you can easily start generating videos with p3 if you've gotten value from this video please smash that red subscribe button and most importantly guys please give this video a thumbs up i will sincerely appreciate that from you so now that we have downloaded the video what we want to do lastly is to review the video and check it out before i'm going to leave you to watch the video that we generated using p3 if you want to know about the five ways you can make money with p3 i'm going to leave the link in the description of this video and i will also leave that video displaying on the screen after you finish watching the video we have generated i'm also going to leave the link to another video in the description talking about how to generate your script and i will also leave that video displaying 
on the screen so enjoy the video we have created using p3 are you feeling lazy and unmotivated it's normal to have days like that but it's important to remember that we all have the power to overcome laziness here are a few tips to help you get moving one set a goal having a specific goal in mind will give you something to work towards and help you stay motivated two break it down break your goal down into smaller manageable tasks this will make it seem less overwhelming and help you stay focused three dot take action the most important step is to take action even if it's just a small step it's important to start moving in the right direction four Reward yourself. Give yourself a reward for reaching your goals. This will help you stay motivated and focused on your goal. 5. Stay positive. Stay positive and remind yourself that you can do it. Laziness is a mindset, and with a positive attitude, you can overcome it. Remember, overcoming laziness is not easy. But with determination and the right mindset, you can do it. So, set your goals, take action, and stay positive. You got this. So the next step is to create a thumbnail and then upload the video to YouTube, right? So I'm going to show you a very po um, popular tool that you can use to create thumbnail and it is called Canva. Canva is an online software that allows you to create any design of your choice. But in this video, we are going to be using it to create a thumbnail, right? So you, what you just want to do is to type on the search bar YouTube thumbnail. And once you search for YouTube thumbnail, it's going to bring out a lot of template for you to choose why i like canva is because you can start off with the free plan and still have amazing templates to create right so these are all templates that you can use it comes with the right dimension right so you don't need to start cropping anything you can just use re-edit it and add your test to it and you are done right then you can export it and then use it as your youtube thumbnail creating your thumbnail and you have uploaded the video to your youtube channel the last thing you want to do is the optimization of that video optimizing your videos probably can help increase your visibility and attract more viewers to your channel right now there are key areas you have to focus on if you want to properly optimize your youtube videos the first place you want to focus on is the titles right the titles of your videos are very very important right so you want to use relevant and descriptive titles so that your audience can easily understand what the video is all about with these tags the youtube algorithm is able to know what the video is all about and it can easily help you to promote your videos whenever those words are searched on youtube or even google if they come over to google and they search for a particular keyword and your video on youtube has that keyword youtube can recommend it to google and google can recommend that video to your audience and that automatically means you are going to be getting more views so it is important to focus on your title focus on your tags and also use a detailed video description right you want to make sure that you explain what the video is all about and most importantly ensure that you are adding the keyword you want to rank for right so as you're writing what the video is all about in the description of the video you want to also add relevant keywords that will help the youtube algorithm to show your content to more and more viewers so the last part is to use closed captions with closed caption it will actually help you to reach more persons who are more interested in the caption of the video kind of they want to just read what you are saying in the video right so closed caption can help you to get more audience retention for those audience who just want to read the caption to understand what you are saying in the video so closed caption can help you to increase your retention can also help you to get more viewers to your video and and that will eventually grow your youtube channel so these are the few things you have to pay attention to if you want to optimize your videos properly make sure you are using relevant and descriptive titles make sure you are using the right keywords for your tags and also including those keywords in your video description and then add caption to it and if you are able to optimize it properly like this i'm sure you are going to start getting more views and getting more subscribers to your channel i believe this video has helped you in one or two ways please smash that like button to enable youtube spread this content to more persons and also do what to subscribe to this channel so that you'll be notified whenever i drop a new video